The HSL adjustments in Lightroom have the power to completely transform your images if you know how to use them. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how they really work, as well as how you can use them to define your own editing style, and I'll take you on a walkthrough of how I use them to take an image from this to this. If you're new to my channel, I'm Chelsea Nicole, and I share weekly videos with tips in business and marketing strategies to help you improve your craft while building a wildly profitable business. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. In my last Lightroom tutorial, I shared a unique way to think about curves. And a few of you asked if I use HSL as well and how the two tools differ. I actually use both curves and HSL in my images to get kind of my signature look. And the major difference between the two comes down to targeting. Curves targets based on the tones in the image, your shadows, your mid-tones, and your highlights, and HSL sliders target based on a specific color we want to change. But what does that really mean? As you probably know, HSL stands for hue, saturation, and luminance. Saturation is the intensity of the color, or how pure it is. Luminance is the lightness or darkness of the color, and hue is simply the color. This is the part that trips most people up, so an easy way to think about the hue part is visualizing our color wheel. If we were to flatten it and break it up into sections, it would give us Lightroom's hue slider controls. And when we target these colors in our image, it allows us to shift each color left or right along that color gradient to change the hue. For instance, red to orange, orange to yellow, or yellow to green. So now that we know the basics of how this works, let's dive into Lightroom to edit an example photo. When starting an image in Lightroom, I always like to start with my basic adjustments first. This gives us a nice clean starting point to work with and is important to do as a first step because things like brightness and contrast will impact the colors of your photo. To see how I dial in my basics, check out my other videos all on editing. After my basic tweaks, I'll use curves and HSL to create a more stylized look. Here's the image with curves applied. And then HSL tends to be my final step to dial in my colors the exact way I want. Going into the HSL area up top, you'll see that there's HSL or color. Color is simply a different way of viewing the HSL sliders. I don't use this because often an area of your image that you want to change has more than one color and you'll have to go back and forth between them when tweaking. So the HSL view is a little bit more efficient. So for this video, we'll be working in this panel and across the top, you can see your different sections, the hue, saturation, or illuminance. And we're gonna click all, which allows us to view all three all at once. So in HSL, I always like to start with editing the skin tones of my images first and get them how I want it, and then work my way into tweaking out the background and creating kind of a stylized look. And a quick tip for editing skin tones, since they're often made up of more than one color, is to use this targeted adjustment tool. And what you can do is click right on the area of the image that you want to adjust and drag up or down, and that will drag the sliders left or right. So as we can see, the skin tones in this image are made up of both orange and yellow, a little bit more orange. So we can adjust them exactly how we want. This adjustment tool is awesome, but one thing to kind of watch out for that is a common mistake is if you get your skin tones how you want or one part of the image how you want, be careful not to use it on another part of the image that has those same colors because you'll be shifting it and throwing off the skin tones then. So now we're gonna come into the saturation. I'm just gonna desaturate those oranges just a bit. And then I usually also like to bring up the luminance on uh, my oranges and the skin tones just a bit. And so that looks pretty good to me. Next, we're gonna tweak our background and I'm just gonna bring those greens up a bit towards the aqua uh, and bring the blues, which you can kind of see over in here, um, down a little bit. And then moving into our saturation, I'm gonna bring those same greens down in saturation and also bring the yellows down in saturation, which is hitting in the flower, you can kind of see. I'll also bring the blue down and I'm gonna bring the aqua up just a little bit because as you can see, that's like right in her eyes. We just want just a hint of it. And then coming into luminance, we're gonna bring the yellows down, bring the greens down and bring those oranges up just a hair more. And there we go, here is our before and after. 
Another quick example of this is moving over to this image. I also use the HSL sliders a lot for sky. So if we click this on and off, as you could see, the blues of the image all tend to shift towards the aqua, uh, which gives it almost a teal look to the sky. And then I'll usually bring the saturation on that down just a bit. And here's again the before and after. Hope this helps clear up some of the mystery behind these more advanced editing tools. I think it's awesome that you're diving in with me. If you haven't seen the curves video yet or are interested in some of my other Lightroom editing tutorials, I'll share a few helpful links below. And I'd love it if you subscribe. I share new videos weekly. And question for you guys, what's your favorite editing tool? Is it Lightroom, Lightroom Mobile, Photoshop? Drop it below and I'll see you next video.